top three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, a greeting to those on vacation, to those about to go there, to those who have finished them and those who cannot do them. While the sun heats our planet, some bored person delights in making fake videos on the paranormal theme, like this guy, whose facial expression indirectly proves that he is lying shamelessly, who declares that he cannot sleep because something is watching him, and indicates a display case not far from him with a teddy bear inside, and as soon as he points to the area, the soft toy moves its head, obviously pulled by some fishing line by some hidden accomplice. Apart from the coincidence between him pointing and the soft toy that moves, anyone in front of such a situation would have run away or would have taken down the case to understand what was happening, instead the author shakes his head in disapproval. Let's forget about this kind of entertainment, welcome to our 50th episode and come to our ranking. The Ghost Playing With My Son's Leg In previous episodes we talked about children and ghosts, a very mysterious subject. The video we are about to show was posted three years ago in 2019 on the well-known Reddit forum by the user GhostPubies1, who, suspicious of the continuous cries of his two-year-old son, decides to view the baby monitor to understand what was bothering him. But inexperienced in computer science, not knowing how to publish the video of the baby monitor, he decides to turn on his cell phone and film something that is absolutely very disturbing. In the video we initially see the child with his legs close together and a strange orb at the top right, present throughout the video. The disturbing thing is the unnatural movement that the child's left leg makes, which seems to be pulled by something or someone. The author of the video claims to have viewed the video many times and to be sure that in two precise moments the child's leg is pulled by something unnatural. To respond to some comments from skeptics, he also privately provides his own link to the Facebook social network where the same video is present, the only paranormal video in a set of videos of daily family life. Here are two important comments from the author in response to users, which summarizes what happened. The thing that made me question what I was watching was the orb. It seems to stay in the same area right around my son. If it was a bug or dust it wouldn't just hover around him with some wild movements for 1.5 minutes. The second thing that made me question what I was watching was each time his leg is pulled, there seems to be a direct correlation with the orb. Third thing is when I went in his room I brought the monitor with me and I could still see the orb on it, but not with my naked eye. I went to the area of the orb and waved my hands around in it and it eventually just disappeared. Don't know 100% what it was but I will say there are absolute coincidences here. All in all, your opinion is just as valid as mine though. Wife woke me up to look at monitor. Wasn't sure what I was seeing so I started recording on my phone. People say, how could you just watch it happen blah blah. But in the moment I wasn't even sure what I was looking at. I got uneasy after the second apparent leg pull and when the video cuts out I went in his room. Difficult to understand what we are dealing with, although the video is of poor quality, it has not gone viral nor has been posted for that purpose. All the doubts of the case therefore remain. The dog that saw a ghost. Surely you remember all the early 2000s, when mobile phones were mainly Nokia or other models, they had poor average video quality. The video we're going to see was shot on one of these devices by an American man named Adam, who posted a video on April 18, 2007 on his YouTube channel titled Adam, after being awakened by the constant night noises of his dog barking continuously. As you can see from the images the dog is visibly frightened by something invisible, in fact he tries to smell it, points it. This energy moves the curtain covering the glass, first from top to bottom, then rotates to obscure the external view. The dog is petrified, motionless to observe. The most extraordinary thing is that the dog probably points towards the stick that allows you to raise, darken and lower the awning, but there is no one to maneuver it. 
This video has reached nearly 3 million views to date. Many in the comments believe that this is a genuine video as only a dog that has received military training could do this, as if it were fake he would have ruined the whole making of this video by running towards the hidden person and trying to play. Even when carrying out the light spectrum analyzes we do not see anyone near the dog, which supports the hypothesis that the material is genuine. Adam asks for help and advice on what to do, whether to investigate further or to pack up to protect himself and his family. Animals are extremely sensitive to the paranormal and someone in the comments claims that Adam's dog saw a good spirit, otherwise he would have been barking growling with his hair at attention. And you? What do you think? Paranormal in my garden. The videos we are about to show are presumably from the state of Illinois, USA. A garden house owner states in his video description, that the house has always been filled with weird activities, from things that move by themselves to dogs barking to things that aren't there. Even his three-year-old son talks and plays with people who aren't there. Posted on June 23, 2022 on the Supernatural YouTube channel, the video shows the capture of the camera placed on the front porch, let's see it together. Although the audio is out of sync, in fact we hear the first blow of the chair on the ground and then the chair slide a few seconds after the images, the video is of very high quality and we notice a strange refraction of light on the chair, probably due to the light of the garden. If we zoom in on the image we do not see fishing lines or image editing tampering. In another video, this time taken by the video intercom camera, one of the child's toys is seen moving by itself while the other tricycles are stationary. The author declares that it could simply be the wind, but he also says that he heard a noise coming from the kitchen a few days ago and, investigating, he discovered that it was the microwave working by itself so he decided to disconnect it from the electricity for the safety of the family. These are undoubtedly interesting videos that have nothing to do with different material produced on other social networks such as the TikTok channel of this user, who claims to witness various paranormal phenomena in his house and to see his dead sister walking around the house, decidedly unreal and heavily false and edited. Friends, even for today our episode ends here, if you appreciated our work, leave a like to help us, and follow us on our social channels and on our main YouTube channel to find out about new publications, good night.